Warning, strong language is in this video and is becoming a norm. P16 or more to view. Welcome to CryptoZone. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. You can also support me by following this link. Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Crypt Zone. And it's a new week in PUBG. So let us see what is our new week's RP missions. Let's collect this one for the day. So my daily mission today is to finish in the top 10 ones in solo classic mode. Uh, well, we'll do that one, no problem. Let's see what the challenges is for week 8. Now, what I still have left, let's see, uh, week 1 is finished. Week 2 is finished. This one I can't get it. Killing 15 enemies. <laughs> I've tried, it's not working. I get up to a maximum of 11 then it's game over uh, week 4 is finished, week 5 is finished week 6 that'll never happen week 7 I still have to get some angle grips three of them still need to kill some people with a DP28 and then still have to do the grenade kills of which I did one last night but it didn't count because I was an idiot so up to week 8 we have get a flare gun once in a match <laughs> so we need to get 5 flare guns this normally you can get in the military base you normally pick up flares there uh, kill 3 enemies with a QBU in any mode so that will be in Chinook finish in the top 3 3 times in any mode that we can do kill 5 enemies with a car 98 now guys a tip if you struggle to do this go into sniper training it counts if you can get a, a sniper rifle in any of the arcade modes it actually counts kill 12 enemies in Los Leones with AKM that's nice kill 10 enemies with an SKS we haven't done that in a while so that's nice travel over 30,000 in a vehicle this one you can do in one go this is so easy and if you can't do it in one go you can do it in two I'll show you how it's a bit boring but it works I'll show you exactly how to do these missions kill 20 enemies with a scar L this you can do in Pacheki or uh, Erringel anyway get an 8 times scope 5 matches I've already picked up like 4 or 5 and lost 2 matches yesterday so this should be easy although I've noticed if they give you a mission they make sure you don't get what you want they make it difficult for you and deal a total of 500 damage to enemies heads that's also easy just do some headshots at least five people if they say do a thousand damage or more make sure you kill 10 people if you're lucky to kill 11 you'll guarantee to get it 11 people will give you like a thousand two hundred more or less damage 10 people should give you a thousand damage that's how it normally works and then let's go check my clan uh, in my clan, let's see what is my clan mission for today. I oh, already had two people play. Total time survived. This will beat easily, especially if we play the next four games. Because I normally play the four maps, one game each a day. That's how much I play. I'm not like the other guys who sit and play the whole day or three or four times a day. I don't have time for that. So I have to do what I can do in a very short time and that's why I've made sure that I can get a lot of my boxes open within a short time. Normally by the second or third day all 10 boxes are open. This time it might take a bit longer because the missions is again limited to specific guns and killing a certain amount of people and that's normally a problem. So let's go to Erringel first. Let's go do that one. Uh, let's go to single player. It should be a bit quieter since most people are at work today. 
Yesterday was the national elections, which is a big mess anyway, but it always is. So let's go and check out, just to confirm, to, I need to get into the top 10 in classic mode. Okay. And I need to get into the top 3 in any mode. So these two we can actually do at one time. And we can get okay. The free gun's gonna be a bit difficult now. That's in Chinook. That's trainer Los Leones. We can do in Miramar. That one we can do in Miramar. That we can do in Pucheki. Okay, let's start one match and see what we can actually accomplish in Erringo. Okay, so like I've said in, in my stream last night, if you're struggling to get into your game quick, change the server. If you're not worried about your points or status or anything like that, and you just want to play the game and do the missions, go to other servers. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm on my on I'm on sorry, I'm on the Asian server at the moment because it only took me 20 seconds to get into the game. After I waited 10 minutes to get into the Europe server, so nothing wrong with that. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are in Pucheki. I'm heading for the garage because our mission now, for now, is going to be the 30,000 meter traveling. So that's what we want to achieve, and we'll see if we can do that. First, we need to pick up a gun, because we're not going to stay in the car the whole time, that's for sure. Thank you. Okay, we actually need to pick up a DP-28. So if we can pick up a DP-28, that'll be awesome. Let's swap over to the M16. Okay, it would have been nice to pick up something to you. Oh, whoopee. It's a day-night game. Customer inbound. Okay. So here we go. That was close. Mothers, that was close. Okay, so the route you take is actually quite simple. You drive all around Pucheki, all around the map to the military base. You go around the military base. And after that, you just stay within the safe zone until it's on the last circle. And then you hope to kill the last guy and win the match. Normally you die about third or second. So that's why I say doing this, we can get the 30,000 meter driving. One of the top 10 for today's mission and one of the top 3 in one go. Oh, and keep an eye on your field because you're going to change cars two times or three times doing this. Now I know this is boring for some people, this is not what you like to do, but if you want to open up your cases quick, then you will do it. Also this improves your driving skills, for those guys who like to hit trees and rocks, do it. You would see me last night how I, how I was uh, maneuvering in uh, Murmur because I drive a lot in this game. I'm going to speed up the footage now 
because this is going to be a boring drive I will slow it down the moment there is something of interest to see check out my turbo boost now Okay, let's go get another car. Ah, this one's fuel is nice and full. Okay, let's continue the drive. Just make sure you've got some medic bags or some pills or anything to boost your health with when you get out of the blue. But as you can see, you can survive in the blue for quite a quite a while. Uh, but only the first one, mind you. As the circle gets smaller, the blue does more damage. But you guys know that by now. Oh, there's already 49 people left. Okay. You see here we're here by the school now. Ah, oh, dick. And I got killed. Okay. So that was our first go around. Let's go and see how much distance we actually did. You see, one kill equals 100 damage. That's why I say if you kill 10 people, you'll get your 1000 damage. No problem. Come on. We've done a whopping 14,211 already. That means with the next go around, if I don't get killed and I, if I can survive till the end, we'll have our 30,000. So, see how easy that is? Let's do that again. Okay, we're going to start off by landing here by the farmhouse because I need to pick up some weapons and medipacks from here on we'll head to the garage, get the car 
and we will start round two. Ah, there we go. Mm, first aid kit. Something we can use. Definitely. Ah, this will do nicely. We still need to pick up those four grips. So, uh, I didn't pick them up in the previous round because we weren't aiming for that. I only need to pick up three anyway. Come on. Walk like a drunk man. Ugh. The stupidest bloody thing in the game is this laser sight. It just gives away your position anyway. Really? Oh, it's gonna rain. Okay. Mm, we can swap it for this one. We need to pick up some eight times scope, so okay. Let's go see if we can find a car. There is a car. Okay. Let's go straight for the car and let's start driving. And the fuel is nice and full. Okay. Round two, go!
just quickly needed to heal because I was shot at. I shot at my tire, but I'm not gonna make that stop me. Let's just get to another vehicle if we can. Bastard. You shot at my tire, you fucking asshole. Ah, here's a replacement vehicle for us. Really? Not a good choice. Ah, much better. Ugh, really? What the fuck? Okay, we need to turn left here because the blue is going to start coming in and it's not going to be friendly. Let's head toward the safe zone. Rather not take chances. As you guys can see, there's only 14 people left. So we have a good chance of getting into the top 10 already for today. The fuel is still good, so I'm not going to change that. Okay, it's time to head into the zone. Okay, so now... We're in the safe zone and we can stay here for a while. Okay, our fuel is finished. We're not going to waste time driving around anymore. Whatever we've done is what we've done. Time to get serious. And we're in the top three. We've achieved all our goals in one match. Except for the driving, obviously. We had to do that in two.
Empty single. Getting shot at. I don't know from where. There. Yo, I shoot like crap. Ah, you asshole. But we did achieve what we set out to achieve. And we got our 30,000 meter drive. Okay, and that boys and girls is how you achieve this. We got our daily mission. And we got our 30,000 meter vehicle. Two boxes open in two matches. And I got this very stupid looking helmet. This belongs in Fortnite, not in PUBG. Okay guys, I just want to share this with you. This was the last few minutes of my last match for today. Uh, the other two didn't go as well. So, as you can see, there's 10 alive. I've got 5 kills already. We're in Vikendi. And, uh, I just kind of felt a chicken dinner coming on. So I decided to record this. Now where's that guy? There you are. Okay guys, here's an airdrop here. And there's a good chance that nobody actually opened it up. Uh, in Vikendi and especially also Shinnok, I see there's a lot of airdrops dropping that people don't open up. And look at that. Just look at that nice loot. We're just taking what we need. And let's carry on. Down to six people. Now the circle is getting small and we are waiting to see where the rest of the guys are. Okay, here we go. It's down to the final three. Let me see if I can see where the shots are coming from. Off to my right. Let's go see if we can let's maybe spot this guy. It's down to two. It's me and him. It's the home stretch. I don't see anyone at this moment. So I'm going to take a chance. The circle will push him to me. Uh, or towards in my direction, I'm sure of that. Don't see anyone yet. I think let's go down to the house. And see if we can maybe wait for him to come to us. I don't want to be too exposed in the, out in the open. Let's put it on full O2 because if it kills that guy now, it's probably going to be close range and we don't want to take a chance. And the M4 is a very good weapon for shooting um, full O2. It's actually quite a stable gun if you go full O2 with the M4. It's not like some of the other guns that has a bad recoil. Still don't spot him. Let's see what the circle's gonna do. It might stay with me, it might push me out.
That pushed me out. Okay. Now we have to be extra careful. Stay low to the ground and see if we can maybe see him coming towards us. The circle is small, so he's going to have to move. Possibly. Don't see anything yet. Let's get down. Nope, don't see anything yet. Uh, nah, it's not in the grass. It's not on the move. Could be standing still somewhere. I see you. The end. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of any further uploads or downloads. And have a blessed day. Cheers.